Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four series on my YouTube. And this one is all about relationships. I had to think about that then. This is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So this video was requested on my WhatsApp and he asked me to talk about hatred because I feel like a lot of people get triggered by things that they hate and I say it like this because I feel like hate I've heard of the phrase cover emotion before and I don't know if hatred is actually a cover emotion for something but I'm going to say that it is. This is my personal opinion and a download I just tapped into right now. I feel like hatred is a cover emotion for something much deeper and that could be fear, probably fear, but it could also be like insecurity and those kind of things which again stem from fear and unworthiness and shame and those kind of things. So I feel like when we hate something, we feel hate towards something, it's masking something else, like it's coating a root problem or a problem that's further within self and sometimes we hang on to that hatred and we direct it at people and like be rude and stuff like that without ever delving deeper into why we're actually feeling this way and what the root cause is within ourselves rather than it being an external problem. Like you might hate something that somebody else has done but then when you actually look within yourself, it's like, okay, but why did I even entertain that person in the first place? You know, like you can delve deeper in so many areas of our lives when it comes to certain things that we experience. So I feel like hatred is masking insecurity and a lack of self-worth and a lack of belief in whatever it is that you want to do. And this involves a lot of shadow work as always. So as with any emotion that comes up, it comes back to self-awareness and being able to stop yourself in the moment when you're feeling triggered. And sometimes that means sitting quietly, sometimes that means getting up and going for a walk or like dancing around or whatever it is that works best for you. Maybe it's yoga, maybe it's whatever. Whatever your favorite spiritual practice is, whenever you're triggered by some kind of emotion or some kind of external thing, that affects your emotions is to be able to now stop the physical interaction that you're having and turn inward so that you can observe what's actually going on where the emotion feels in your body does it feel tight does it feel constricted what area of your body is it what does it look like um, what kind of message is it actually presenting to you? And we can just take a random example of hatred. So say you don't like a specific person and this person is rude, they're arrogant, like they're super successful, they have so much money, but they're so rude and you just don't like them. Like you literally hate them. They Every time you see them, they're nasty to you. You just feel so much anger and so much hate towards them then when you have that kind of interaction where the, that hate gets triggered up, instead of getting in a debate with them or an argument with them, you can take yourself away and feel that hatred within your body because we're not rejecting emotions. We're not trying to push it away. We're like, okay, I'm feeling hatred. Like this feels very intense. Where do I feel it? Maybe you feel it. For me, oftentimes when um, like anger or sadness comes up, it tends to come up in my back. Like I can feel tightness there. So like paying attention to your body and observing where it's coming up and being able to really feel into that and allow that to actually be there. Like allowing it to be present, allowing yourself to be present and consciously shifting your focus to that body part so you can just observe it being there and stuff. And then really, um, and going inwards with yourself in your mind to get to the root of why you're feeling so angry about them. Like, yes, they're rude. Yes, they're this. Yes, they're that. But what is the belief within you that makes you reject them? Like, what is the actual belief about yourself? Not about them and not about how they behave, but about yourself and what you want out of life. Like, maybe it's the fact that you feel um, belittled or insignificant, like you feel like you're not successful when they are. Do you know what I mean? Like there's always a belief about ourselves within it. And actually um, to delve even deeper into this, I have all seven of the Essene mirrors. I have a video for each one of how the world reflects us, how our relationships reflect us and stuff. So definitely check out those if you want to figure out 
a specific emotion and where it's stemming from within yourself so that will go fully into it for you but yeah like just having that introspection to take yourself away from the external circumstance and bring it back to yourself the focus back to yourself and uncovering your own beliefs your own past experiences that were triggered by the exact same emotion like it's an emotional pattern that comes up in our body so you may be annoyed at this person and hate them but then when you trace that emotion you have felt that hatred for other things and other experiences throughout your life and you can trace it all the way back in these different memories of all of the different times that you have felt it and there's likely a pattern and I also feel like hatred involves anger and when you're angry about something like that definitely needs some presence and needs to be addressed because it's coming up because you're like frustrated maybe you don't feel heard or you don't feel seen those kind of things so really being able to um, have the self-awareness of what it is that you need what need is it that's not being met and oftentimes the need that needs to be met is by yourself and not by anybody else so yeah it's just a process of shadow work and self-awareness and really working on your own self-esteem so that when people do certain things and they start to act a type of way you no longer feel that triggering emotion in the same way because you feel grounded and secure within yourself but you you don't take it personally because that's their energy that's not mine like they may be acting a type of way, they may be trying to get a reaction out of me, they may try and insult me or belittle me or say whatever they want, but I'm not going to absorb that because I've worked on my own sense of self and on my own energy field that I now know that their emotions that they're projecting at me are not mine, it's not for me to absorb, so you kind of are able to mentally and emotionally put that um, I call it a force field in the last video. I don't know why <laughs> that just came to my head again. It's like a force field that you just kind of put up and reject their energy and and send their energy back to their higher self or whatever so that it doesn't it doesn't get absorbed by you because you understand what your energy is. You understand what your intent is, what your wants and needs are so that you don't take it personally and accept what they have to say as if it's yours when you know that it's not you know so I hope this made sense but if you would like um, to work with me one-to-one -one on this kind of thing I also do business and branding and I also do like shadow work and inner child healing and just everything to do with ourselves and our lives to be honest because I feel like all of these areas are so important so if you would like to book one-to-one -one with me then I can help you with this the link to that is in the description box below as well as links to my music my social media my phone number because I do send daily solo trips which are spiritual inspirational thoughts and videos and yeah everything else about me is in the description box below I can't remember what else I haven't said crystal jewellery. That is also in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.